obviously a, a real, real blow to him. He's having the season of a lifetime at club level. He's a big, uh, big player for us. Great captain. I've just said in a couple of interviews and a great character. So it's, uh, it's a big, big loss. Big loss. Big loss to Everton. Big loss to us. And uh, but he'll fight back, I hope. And uh, yeah, puts things in perspective, I suppose. I didn't think that we played well in the first half. Wales, we surrendered possession to them probably too easily. Um, and um, I thought the second half we started to improve. I thought we were really getting into it. I thought the crowd were fantastic, keeping us going. And, um, and I thought maybe in the last 20 minutes we might, might have been able to have won it. That said, when Gareth Bale dispossessed uh, Richard Kyo, was, uh, or misplaced pass, and raced on. I think he's missed by inches again. I've not seen the replay, but uh, so that would have been uh, that would have been tough to take. But we did exert an awful lot of pressure on Eden McGeady coming on. Um, I, I thought um, I, I thought it was excellent for us in that little spell, 10, 12, 15 minute spell, and he caused uh, he caused a number of problems. And I thought maybe with the number of balls that were whizzed across the box, somebody might get in the end of one. We've played, um, if I take the overall, it's five games gone. It's exactly halfway. And if you'd said to me, two, two games at home, three away, and we would have 11 points in the board, I probably would have taken that. No, I wouldn't probably would have taken that. I would have taken that. But um, I don't think, for instance, Serbia won tonight. Austria have won. You're not out of it. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't call Wales out of it either. I suppose the point is that Wales didn't gain any ground on us tonight. Uh, we still have to go there, of course, and I think that they are capable of winning matches themselves. But I did say at the beginning, way at the very start of the competition after Belgrade, that anybody who finishes in front of Serbia will probably win the group. But teams will definitely take points of each other still. And with Austria winning tonight, it keeps them well in it.